Tracking a person's face, eye, or head is actually quite simple and straightforward on the R5C. Make sure you have face detection and tracking turned on on the camera setup five menu page and the camera will automatically detect, box, and track someone as they move around in the frame. On the other hand, tracking an arbitrary object is not nearly as well exposed or documented. And yes, the camera can, in fact, do it. In fact, the feature is hidden away far enough that I totally forgot it was possible until I started putting this series together. It's actually, in some ways, quite frustrating how Canon Cinema EOS OS hides this capability away where the hybrid EOS cameras make it just so much easier to do. So with that said, let's take a look today at how to do this and how to get our camera to set up to track arbitrary objects. Now to get this process rolling, the first thing we need to do is program a button to the tracking function. Yes, on the R5C, you can't just touch something arbitrarily on the screen to track it. You have to actually tell the camera you want to enter tracking mode first. Moreover, there isn't a menu or direct touch control item to do this, and by default, none of the buttons perform this function either. So we're first going to head over to the assignable buttons menu and pick the button we want to customize. So in this video, I'm going to use custom but or I'm going to customize button five, the auto iris button, as I don't actually use the auto iris functionality. However, you can assign this function to any of the 13 programmable buttons on the camera. Now, once you've selected the button you want to customize, press set to bring up the function list. And then here we will scroll to the top where you will find an entry that simply says tracking. Select this and press set again to save that to this button as its function. Now that we have a button enabled to start the tracking system, we can start tracking subjects. To track a subject, we first press the track button that we just set up. Now our screen should now have changed to have a cursor in the center of the frame and a little instructional note that reads set indicated as a button, start tracking, cancel also indicated as a button, end. Now the short of it is that at this point, the camera will track whatever is under the cursor when you press the set button. Now you can of course move the cursor around and select something that's not in the center of the frame. If you use the touch screen to do this, then you don't have to press set as the camera will immediately start tracking whatever it is that you've touched. The other option for moving the cursor is to use the joystick. And once you've moved the cursor to where you want it, you can either press straight in on it or press the set button in the middle of the rear dial. Either way, that will tell the camera to track what is under the cursor. Now with the how out of the way, there are a couple of things you ought to be aware of when using this function. To start with, at least in my testing, the camera ha cannot track something over the entire image area. All of the vertical extent of the frame appears to be usable, but when you get to the extreme edges of the frame horizontally, I have found you will probably lose tracking, maybe the outer 10% or more or so. So that is something you kind of need to keep in mind is you kind of want to keep the subject somewhere in the middle 80-ish percent of the frame. Additionally, the subject tracking here also doesn't have anything to do with the face detection and tracking settings on the camera setup five menu page. Those settings only control the automatic face detection and tracking, not this aspect of tracking or tracking as a whole. Even when the face detection and tracking is disabled, this manual tracking function will still work. Now that said, while this can be useful in some situations, it also does require some forethought or foreknowledge to use. Unlike on the R5 and its EOS hybrid siblings, you can't just touch the subject to start tracking it. You do have to do this whole dance through the tracking mode. There also isn't a way to start the camera tracking immediately, say tracking whatever is under the AF frame or just in the center of the frame. You always have to hit the track button and then st set to start the tracking operation. That said, the tracking cursor and the AF frame do share the same coordinates. That is, if you move the AF frame off center and then enter the tracking setup mode, the AF or the cursor in the tracking setup mode will be situated where the center of your AF frame was. The opposite is also true to an extent. So if you move this cursor while you're in tracking mode and then you hit cancel, the 
the camera won't update the position of the AF frame. However, if you do hit set while you are in the tracking mode and don't immediately start, or and it doesn't track something, like there's nothing under it for the camera to track, that will cause the AF frame to move to that new position. So with that said, that's the R5C's hidden autofocus tracking capability. If you found this useful or at least interesting, let me know by hitting that like button. If this kind of thing seems like it might be your kind of thing, please consider subscribing if you aren't already. Finally, if you'd like to help and support this channel, you can help us by liking and sharing this video. And if you'd like to support us directly, you can do so by hitting the thanks button or by buying yourself something you've always wanted from one of the affiliate links in the description below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.